History was made this morning in southeastern Utah. Federal, state, and Navajo Nation officials all signed an agreement delivering fresh water to some of the most remote communities in the United States. Fox 13 News anchor Max Roth joins us now in studio with details. Max. Yeah, thanks, Bob. You know, Utah's portion of the Navajo Reservation has about two people per square mile. Still, there are 5,000 people there, half of whom don't have fresh water flowing to their homes. The Secretary of the Interior, Deb Holland, Utah Governor Spencer Cox, and Navajo Nation President Jonathan Nez signing an agreement 20 years in the making. Utah Senator Mitt Romney pushed through the Utah Navajo Water Rights Settlement Act. It formalized long promised water for the Navajos in Utah. And the challenge was you had half of the Utah residents of the Navajo Nation without running water in their homes. That's about 2,500 people who have to travel as far as 50 miles to fill containers of water for basic needs. 20 years of negotiation hinge on the balance between the right to scarce water from the San Juan River and the resources to actually get it to the people who need it. And so we agreed, okay, here's how we're going to split the water rights, and here's how we're going to get water to the homes of the Navajo citizens that cost $220 million. $210 million from President Joe Biden's infrastructure bill and $8 million from the state of Utah. Secretary Holland saying in a statement, having modern water infrastructure is not only crucial to the health of our kids and families, it's also important to economic opportunity, job creation, and responding to the intensifying effects of climate change. The agreement came a day after an entourage of state officials led by Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson traveled four-wheel drive roads from Olhato to Navajo Mountain, only 30 miles apart as the crow flies, but a three-hour drive through Arizona by any reasonable route. The lieutenant governor advocating for a project creating a 70-mile paved road connecting two places important to Navajos in Utah. And back to that water negotiation, you know, the drought helped spur the compromise. It was important to Utah to get some extra water rights from the San Juan River in exchange for getting that water infrastructure so needed by the Navajo Nation. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.